everybody for giving me this opportunity to, to do the opening prayer. I'm sure that we will have more Zoom meetings due to our present circumstances. Please reflect with me your most solemn thoughts in reinforcing our collective prayers on several areas of our needs, on this pandemic crisis, on remembrance, and finally, our need to express sincere gratitude and thanks. Let us pray in Jesus' name that the virus would recede and plateau and that the number of infected cases in the Philippines and the world will decline soon. We especially pray for our frontline workers and other healthcare providers and our colleagues who are still practicing <coughs> and seeing patients face to face. We also seek blessings for our colleagues who are no longer with us, particularly the 50 of our departed classmates, our significant others and spouses who have been part of our class 1974 family. We also pray for more blessings as we celebrate our 46 years of camaraderie and bonding of love and friendship that unite us in such a unique way as the UST Medicine class of 1974. For our Zoom meeting today or tonight, let us pray for our July birthday celebrants, who are Rebecca Cassis, Juliet Ruiz, Melly Tan, Evelyn Tan, Zenny Antonio, Rudy Lim, Boy Ramos, Mark Santa Romana, Rudy Harabata, Rose Kimpo, Rene Briones, Eggy Bangsil, and Evelyn Ivalier. May God bless you all with divine peace and happiness that will follow you the rest of your life. Enjoy, have a blessed and fun birthday celebration despite the COVID-19 restrictions. Finally, we give thanks for our lives and families. May our personal reunions via Zoom be shaped by kindness and laughter, particularly the group video that you may be able to watch later with my embarrassing participation, which I felt forced to participate. And may the experience of meditation, the talk on spiritual healing, bring us not only peace and harmony, but also delight and goodwill. Lastly, we also thank Betha for the virtual cake, for the cake we are virtually sharing together. We pray in the name of Father, His Son, Jesus Christ, and may we use our remaining years guided by Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Our next would be the spiritual reading of Raul. Let me read Psalm 91. You who dwell in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shade of the Almighty, my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I trust. He will rescue you from the fowler's snare, from this destruction. He will shelter you with his pinions. And under his wings, you, take, you may take refuge. His faithfulness is, protecting, is a protecting shield. You shall not fear the terror of the night, nor the by day, nor the pestilence that roams in darkness, nor the plague that ra ravages at noon. Though a thousand fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, you shall not come. You need simple watch. The punishment of the wicked you will see because you have the Lord for your refuge and have made the most high your stronghold. Have you noticed that Many have been praying more, meditating more. I look at this time of quarantine during the pandemic as a period of loss. Daily temporal business from constant pursuit of material wealth and success. It's God telling us to slow down, examine ourselves, think of the purpose of life, and let him be in charge. I read in American media, Jesuit magazine, and an article entitled, We Are All Monks Now. The author was interviewing a Trappist monk at the Abbey of Gethsemane in Kentucky. 
we're losing you. Okay. For human breakthrough. Our society revolves around the notion that power and wealth give meaning to existence, that they allow us to take control of our lives. But power and wealth create an illusion of meaning and purpose, undermining our spiritual destiny. We think they give us some measure of control, but in reality, they close the door to grace. In May of 2016, while recovering from an MI in Bergen, Norway, I wrote this in my journal, which I found to be just as relevant today. As follows, I ask myself why, that urge for answer to why things happen, why it's that specific time, specific place. God has given us the intellect and will unique to humanity. Our inquisitiveness is not just pure curiosity, but a pursuit to more supernatural intimacy with him. We are placed in a particular period of time in a specific place. Most of the time, we, do, we would not be aware of it, nor realize the purpose. In some cases, on retrospection, after a period of time, we come to realize why God made it so. His plan and will are always perfect and good. But many times we do not see it that way. We see from human eyes the inconvenience, the pains, the hardship, the burden, when things seem to be difficult and pressing. Jesus, also the gift of faith. Us, that everything works for good and for his glory. In our response to his call to that gift, make it easier. If we look at the end game, so to speak, it would be a lot less burdensome. Just as he said, my yoke is easy, and my burden light. That end game, that sole purpose, is to be with him in eternity. There were millions of men and women who walked before our time that relied on his goodness, even in the midst of hardship and persecution. How did they persevere? How do they keep their eyes on Jesus? I think it's because of his mercy. There's nothing that man can do to equal God's mercy. It's all gifts. It's how we respond to that gift that makes the difference. We learn from Our Lady the total surrender, the fear. Amen. I truly hope can at least have that response, even just a portion of it. The history plague in 1347 showed that there was no medication, no infectious disease specialist. All had in common is the universal church praying, and they came through. This period is a time of introspection, meditation, and contemplation. Time to reflect, to reorient our spiritual compass, to share with one another how good God is, how much he loves us, and how much immeasurable his mercy is. Ad maiorum Dei Gloriam. Join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive and forgive us, us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against, against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, us from evil. Amen. 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 Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for pray us. us. Pray for pray us. For us. Shall we proceed? Hi, Tito. Hello. I will proceed uh, with the birthday videos. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, there were, were, were actually seven who responded to my request. I but sure have not. I couldn't ask for Rose because it's her birthday this month, so. That's mm -hmm. what I'm going to do. Yeah. 
Exempted. <clears throat> that was my first and last, by the way. <clears throat> <laughs> That's why. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to the red, ruby, rich, and regal celebrants of the month of July. My wish for you is to have more blessed birthdays to come with good health. Thank you to Dante, Beta, and Chiro for coming up with beautiful e-cards, posters, and video. Have a great day. Dante, you can do it again. No, that's why you use that. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. We would like to. <laughs> we would like to hear from the additional brands who are present, except for Rose, who will be acknowledging. Yes. I'll Rose. be the last. Yeah. I'll be the last. Okay. Okay. Let's go, Penny. Hi, here it's a good evening there and good morning here. I'm so overwhelmed with the e-card. It's very nice. Thank you, Beta. Thank you, Chito. And thank you very much, Dante. By the way, I want to correct something there. I'm not yet a commissioner. I'm just a board member. <laughs> I'm just, it says there because I read PRC commissioner. I'm, I'm only a board member of the Board of Medicine. So uh, we are under the commissioners. We have a one chairman, attorney Teofilo Pilando, and two commissioners, architect Yoli Reyes and Dr. Jose Cueto. And we are 46 boards under them. So, uh, you know, it's so very difficult, these trying times of how we will be able to conduct our licensure exam this September. And really very, very challenging. <laughs> and aside from that, I'd like you to know that there's so many of our colleagues who are being complained all over the Philippines. And... I was so overwhelmed with the work that we're going to have to do. You know, para kaming, how do you call that? A court. <laughs> so our function really is quasi-judicial and quasi-administrative. So, but anyway, please pray for me. <laughs> so I'd like to thank everybody for, for the greetings. My heart is full of joy and gratitude to the greetings that you have given us. And I'm honored and privileged to be part of this class 74. So you are blessed and my blessings from our God Almighty. And I thank the Lord for that. So God bless us all always. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for the greetings. Uh, there's another correction also. I didn't retire from the Navy. I just got out, I had my residency and served for seven years. Uh, otherwise, everything is 
off wreck uh, the Camino and was did uh, uh, I was that was the highlight also of a pilgrimage, but everything the e cards really good. Uh, I'm I'm proud of uh, of all of my classmates who did this. Thanks. I mean, I, I'm right now sunburned from four days uh, in the beach at <laughs> with my my post right now. Hi, Henry. Hi. So, let me know. Wala na chito. Hold on, teka. Baka sabihin mo, wala akong birthday card mo. Wala pa akong birthday card. Deta in charge dyan. Hindi ako in charge. Hindi ako in charge kahit na seatmate tayo. Baka I might reveal, na wala. I might so reveal more secrets. So Hindi po pa birthday. Okay. That's okay. No more. Oh, it's not my birthday yet. Uh, we should not be celebrating in advance. That's why I don't have an e-card. But I'm so excited to see what the tree will do for me. So <laughs> I expect to be 70 and we all have to celebrate. So, um, well, I did not imagine this uh, get together to be as big as this one. But uh, acknowledgement. In January of 2019, when the birthday celebrants were fitted in Pampanga, in the Gupan, in Baguio, I was thinking, oh, how lucky these people were to celebrate their birthdays on reunion mass. So uh, I envied them a bit because I know and I thought it will not happen on our birthdays. But it did. So now it's our turn and I want to say thank you to the trio behind this, this affair. So Beta, my Ok Ok partner in our souvenir program and um, our souvenir book project, Dante, my idol psychiatrist who, who has a solution to everything and an amazing talent in art. And of course, Chito, my seatmate in class, very proficient in photography and videography. Baka more uh, yeah. than EMG. <laughs> Chito, baka more than EMG and NCD na, no? <laughs> so, um, I thank you, you three. Thank you very much from the hearts in behalf of all the birthday celebrants today, of this month. But of course, it wouldn't be just if it's just the four of us or five of us or six here it isn't worth the effort and not as much fun as this time when a lot of us we are 25 are here so and i just want to give or reiterate the message that in these times of uh, covid and uh, retirement in these times of stress and distress in these times of um, quarantine and insecurity, we always have our group, UST Medicine Class 74, para walang mag alzheimer to turn to, of course, that's after our, our own families. So uh, I think, I would like to thank all, everyone here, our well-wishers. <clears throat> Remember, we are in the same generation and maturity. We all run on the same road, we stumble on the same rock. We think Plus my thank you. And we are grateful and all of us celebrants, we treasure your prayers, your well wishes, and your thoughtful greetings. Let's keep the bonding intact and solid. God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you. Rudy, let me in. Happy birthday, Rudy. Dante, wala pa akong painting dyan sa wall mo. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is your good cup, huh? Rudy, where are you? Where's Rudy? And, uh, quick, quick correction for, for Rose. Uh, I may have some solution except for, for my own issues. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> But that is how I perceive you. Where's Rudy? Oh, there. Hmm. Is this 
turn to speak now. I think he thinks all. He might be on mute, is he? No, he's not. That's a mic. Yes, no mic. There's no microphone. Okay. Just happy birthday. Rudy, can you hear us? Thumbs up if you can hear. Can't. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, yeah. Okay. <coughs> so let's wait, uh, let's let let uh, present her cake while Rudy's where's Beta? Beta, are you ready with your cake? Oh my Bayad na bayan Don't be laughing Baka props lang yan. Hi, Eric. Hello. Hi. Sorry, how are you? Happy birthday. I'm good, thank God. Where are you, Eric? NZ? Where? Where are you? I'm at home. Where is the cake? Where's the cake? Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Is it? Oh my goodness. Wow. Super calories. <laughs> it's okay. ballroom dancing after eating. <laughs> <laughs> Light the candle. <laughs> oh, blue candle, only pink. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> candles. Beta, kailangan 70 candles. <laughs> Seven zero. <laughs> Baka magkasuno. Magkasuno sa inyo. Night seven. Evelyn. Raul, you're so done. Hi, Cindy. One, one week ako sa Cindy. beach. Face mo, Evelyn. Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Apo. Wow, ang daming Apo ni Jerome. <laughs> Wala po ding. Please. 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 Hi, wow. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Quantos años, Andoy? 42 years. Oh, wow. my. Congratulations. <laughs> Felicidades. <laughs> Felicitaciones. <laughs> Baby Happy Ando. birthday din sa lahat na nag-birthday, ha, noong July. Chito, may utang ako sa'yo. <laughs> Ahabol. Kahit maputi. Maputi. Na ang buhok <laughs> Madali lang paitimin ang buhok Ang iyong buhok Ay puputi na rin Sabay tayong mga
Ever youthful ST. What the meantime, can we request Andoy to serenade our yes. birthday celebration? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Your heart wishes. Oh. Any, any song, but uh, uh, manic like. Ah, uh, sa. In this time of pandemic. It's still a wonderful world, di ba? Yes, we ah, love that. Yes. Ano bang umpisa nun, Chari? <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see trees green. are green, red and roses too, I see them bloom for you and me. And I say to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow are pretty in the sky. Pretty in the sky. Are also on the faces of people passing by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, How do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies cry, I watch them grow, they learn much more than I'll ever know. And I say to myself, what a wonderful world. You know, that's all. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Very good. Ah. Bravo! Ayan, may, may, may guitar si, ano, si Chito. <laughs> Ay, may guitar si Chito. Hindi dati na, hindi na practice kasi. Matang dalawa ang makalimutan mo. O, sige, Chito. Sige. Everybody should sing. I'm proud. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Chari, okay, that's his chisto. Faces of people going by. Maybe. I watch them grow. They learn much more than I'll never know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. And I sing to myself, what a wonderful world. 
it's still a wonderful world. Kanta namin ni Rachito yan eh. Pwede mong kuhanin to sa... You got a friend. You got a friend. Company we keep. I can get karaoke. Teka. Yan. You got a friend. Teka. Yung ano na lang favorite ng class 74, yung what friends are for. What friends are for. Three. I like seeing Hi. your aura. Saya-saya na mukha mo. You're so <laughs> full of grace. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ida. Happy birthday, Tony. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Tony. Happy birthday, Tony. Presentation ni Tony, if I can make it, make it. Tony. Yeah. Tony, yung kanta kanina bagay sa yon. Kahit maputi na ang buhok ko. Kami na maliba. Kahit wala na kami buhok. Okay lang yun. Well, yung mo si Dante, nagsumbrero, nagsumbrero, nagsumbrero. Nagsumbrero. Okay, Tony, I'm gonna make you the host. That's good, provides more light. Make you host. Okay. Host. Hi, Cindy. Make it your, hold on. Si Tony, tsaka si Chito, silver talaga, silver plated on top. The top is gun. Top gun. Afghan Henry. Oh, share screen. Where? Am I next? Okay, whoever knows the song, sing it in G. Turkey. Render of the king. Lion is the 
happening around the world and in our communities so particularly Christians are being persecuted physically emotionally and in all ways even the churches here are being desecrated so our faith is really being tested before this is number one is sons and daughters of God we are being baptized Christians, Catholics, we inherited as a sons and daughters of God. And how wonderful it is, amazing that we are children of the amazing God, the creator of the universe, creator of us and creator of the world. So that makes us brothers and sisters in Christ. So faith in Ephesians, Chapter 2, verse 8 says, For it is by grace that you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. So, faith is a gift of God, but we have to ask for faith. And faith is the key, and Jesus is the door, and salvation is the room to be entered. Faith in God is foundation of the Christian life. And uh, faith is the primary, the principal gift. Because if we don't have faith, we cannot love. We cannot have wisdom, understanding, knowledge, healing, and all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. So we need to have faith. And it is just not a beginning, but throughout our Christian life. And what's the meaning of faith? Well, it is impossible to please God without faith. And we will talk about the meaning and nature of faith. And what, why is faith important for Christians like us? And what does it mean to have faith to move mountains? And what things can we do to enable us to grow in faith? So just think about those items as we tackle the next sitting slide. So what is faith? Well, dictionary, Wikipedia says, faith is, comes from word, Latin word fides, meaning confidence, trust in a person, thing, or concept. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 says, faith is the realization of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So as Christians, we walk by faith, not only by sight. And Matthew 22, verse 36 to 40, uh, the teacher, which is the greatest commandment of the law? And Jesus replied, 
Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. So our own whole being should be believing in God as the omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient God. I will reclaim as the home so I can project the, your slides. Okay. There, in verse 11, and, you know, that's, uh, we walk in faith, not just by sight. And um, what's the reason for God giving us faith? Number one is to form our character that reflects his own, meaning we become like other Christ, alter Christos. Number two, to make us instruments to touch and speak to others, like what I'm doing now, and to teach us to pray. And there are many types of prayers. There is the lectio, meditatio, contemplatio, and those who've been to the Ignatian spiritual retreat, you would know that uh, the meditation prayer, the contemplative prayer, and that should transform our life into prayer when we unite God's will to our will. So this uh, faith releases this tripled action of God. And it's also a way to rest in God. In the next slide, come to me, all who are weary and heavily burdened, and I will give you rest for my, take my yoke upon me Take my yoke upon you, so you learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like yours. So we abandon ourselves to the loving hands of God. And uh, faith is not just yielding to the will of God but it's a willingness to endure difficult circumstances. But asking faith is not just a blind leap or an arbitrary act of the will, rather it's a Christian's response to God's revelation of his own nature and plan. God reveals himself in the Bible, scriptures, in human history, in one's personal experiences, or other experiences. So how can we know God's nature, desires, and purpose in our life? Number one is a mention to the scriptures. The scriptures is loaded with a lot of uh, uh, revelations, stated and conditions. And number two, the promptings of the Holy Spirit. And we need to have that relationship that we know when God is speaking to us, especially in adoration or in church, in mass, and the Lord will give us messages internally in our hearts. And also uh, making us aware that we are in the spiritual world that the Holy Spirit dwells in us, being baptized Christian. So we just have to be silent and listen. And number three is through the understanding of God's nature, that God is love and good and merciful and has compassion for us because we are his children. Amen to that. So the next slide are the three kinds of faith. Is the believing faith, the trusting faith, and the expectant faith. Believing faith is just in the mind, it's in the intellect, it's just a knowledge that God is God. Now, one plus one is two, but for us Christians, one plus one plus one equals one. Three persons in one God. Acceptance of the basic doctrinal truths of Christianity. And even the evil spirits believe in God and they tremble. James 2 verse 19 says, You believe that there, are, there is one God. Good. Even the demons believe and they shudder. That's in James 2 verse 19. 
So the next faith is trusting faith. Trusting faith, we believe that God is good, that he loves his people, and he will care for them always. So basically, from the head, from the, our knowledge, from our mind, to the lips, that we're trusting, we proclaim, and we also have the expectant faith, which is the, the best faith to have. One is people to believe, to trust, and to expect. And Matthew 7, 11 says, uh, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, the door will be opened. And Philippians 4, verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So expects, we know, we proclaim, and now we put in our hearts and expect that God will do the things that we ask of him. And even though it, sometimes God does not answer our prayers, we should be satisfied for what we have and kind of suffer with Jesus. So we can, we, it doesn't answer the things that we ask for. We should contemplate of the reason behind it. And if you're in a situation that a lot of problems, like right now, what is the message in this mess? What is God's message in this mess? This COVID-19 mess. And we can ponder on that. And this is from Mark 5, 25 to 34. The woman with hemorrhaging for 12 years. And she just said to herself that if he but touch the cloak, the hem of the cloak of Jesus, that he will, she will be healed. And true indeed, she was healed and Jesus felt power left him. And then he said to the lady, <clears throat> daughter, your faith has healed you. So she has expectant faith that she will be healed and she was healed. And the next so then ill uh, servant, and he had to Jesus come. Are you, uh, I'm not, we, we even say that in the Mass before the communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. So even then allow Jesus to come into his house, but only say the word and the servant was healed. And true indeed. So, expectant faith is the best faith. Okay, and it, in ourselves, in our own personal experiences, we have this transition from believing, from trusting, to expectant faith. Okay? So, in, every, in all our daily lives, there is always a test of faith. And what's our response, whether it makes us better or bitter. We have a choice for everything we are in situation. We can be glad or we could be sad. Amen. So Jesus uh, told us to pray forcefully, even with little things. In Matthew 7, 7 to 11, I asked, that ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and the door will be open. So faith is an active external response, not an internal emotion. Next slide, please. It's a decision. It's not just an emotion, but it is also a way of thinking, speaking, acting, which contains an emotional element. Faith is an external response, and it should be our outlook, characterize our entire Christian life. And Philippians 4, 4 to 7 says, 
Rejoice in the Lord always. I shall say it again, rejoice in everything with prayer and petition and thanksgiving. Give your, send your request to God and the peace of Christ, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Surpasses all understanding. That's how God is. So we should rejoice in all circumstances. We should avoid attitudes of anxiety, fear, negativism, hostility, or discouragement. We should be having an expectant faith and just trust in God. The next slide, how do we grow in faith? Like a seed, we have to water it, we have to culture cultivated but in christian life basically we actually decrease we decrease in our self in our passions and let the spirit grow so in anatomical sense we grow bigger but in spiritual sense we physically decrease let jesus increase and we decrease as St. John the Baptist said, he must increase, I must decrease. So we just relax, rest in the Lord, and remember God's promises, trust his word, venture forth the willingness to make mistakes. Mistakes teaches us. And again, in every situation, we need to ponder what is the message, what is God's message in this this mess. Right now we are in a lot of mess. So we should stand firmly in the rock of God's word, which is true. And the next slide, we have some hazards in growing faith. Number one is fear. Fear because of uh, Insecurities, basically, fear of failure, and we should not have fear and negative uh, emotions and replace it with uh, holy and um, consolation from the Lord, basically. So we watch the news, that's why I don't watch the news too, too often. It's all negative. And I, with this pandemic, we, what's, we go to church and we hear the homeless of, in the Philippines, in Vatican, in Mang Ambo, and the Catholic Church. So you can just click on the homely, I mean, fast forward it, so you can have a different viewpoint of the reading for the day. So that's, instead of watching the news, and of course we have some music videos also. So replace, you know, as much as possible the secular media. It's all bias and sometimes it's a fake news. So I replace it with more spiritual things. And that makes me at peace because God is in control. We don't know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future. That is God. Amen to that. So the next hazard is our emotions. We are human, we have senses, but feelings of faith are helpful, but God's power does not depend on them. We should just stand firmly on the rock of God's word, which is true. And the next is self-doubt. And, you know, doubt is in our mind. The mind is the plaything of Satan. As I mentioned, if you keep listening to negativity, you will become negative. So don't let Satan enter your mind. Just drive them away. And you should disregard this distorted guilt feelings. And we should trust more fully in the Lord. 
scriptures, God's words are true. And the next hazard is Satan himself. Satan, you know, when uh, Peter was walking in water, but he realized uh, the waves are big and tumultuous, so he lost his faith. And then he started to sink. And Jesus said, oh, you little thing, why did you doubt? So Satan is supposed to be the bearer of light, Lucifer. Lucifer is bearer of light, but he is actually bearer of darkness. He is the father of lies. So if you have doubts in your mind or something is whispering in your mind that is negative, then you have, have to do spiritual warfare, which is the next slide. And I know this is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18. This is the whole armor of God. Sorry for the small print, but you can look it up. And whatever is happening in the world, this is a spiritual warfare. We are at war, whether you believe it or not. It's battle between good and evil. Uh, if you were attending the retreat of Father Broom, St. Ignatian Retreat, he mentions two banners, two flags. Are you with the flag of darkness and anger and hatred under the flag of Satan and the demons? Or are you in the flag of peace, hope, and love under Jesus and the archangels and angels? We have a choice. So, but we are in war, whether you believe it or not. Everything that's happening is all spiritual. And there are some people in the world that is controlling the world events. And some of them are Satanists and worshippers of Satan. I don't mean to scare you, but that's the truth. There are people, president, owners of billionaires, that are worshiping Satan and are funding all this chaos around the world that is making chaos and this even this virus is part of that plan. So just keep your eyes and ears open. It is a spiritual warfare. So the next slide, we grow in faith. Of course, pray for faith. Pray, faith is a gift, gift of God. And even the father whose uh, son was uh, possessed by a demon, he said, Lord, I do believe, but help my unbelief. And sometimes you are that, <clears throat> at that stage, that we believe, but we still need a lot of encouraging to believe more. And we, we are humans, so we are fallen spirit. So we can, and God knows that we are, and we, and he loves that we ask him to help our faith, to help our unbelief. And the faith of the mustard seed, that is in Mark, Mark, Matthew 17, verse 20. Because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So if you look at the mountain, it may look a mountain to you. Your problem is like a mountain. But for Jesus, for the angel, it's like a pebble. It's just a rock that you can kick around. So don't make your problem a mountain. Have Jesus and the angels with you and will become a pebble, a mound. Okay? So the next growing trait is we have to let the environment, meaning we have to have a place for prayer, a time for prayer, and people in prayer. Like we are right now, we are, this is a prayer meetings, basically, because we are talking about God. 
So we can surround ourselves with people that are spiritual, that are in, in line with our beliefs, and that strengthens our faith more because we learn from each other. Okay? And the next one is focus on obeying God. And that's prime importance because that's the Ten Commandments. And that's how we go to heaven, by obeying God. Our purpose in life, according to the Ignatian Retreat, is to praise God, to reverence God, and to serve God so as to claim heaven and to bring others to Jesus, to God. As we are adopted sons and daughters of God, he delights in answering our prayers. The confidence should pervade our prayer, the trust, the giving the entrusting faith that we talk about, the expectant faith. So the next about that, faith in new mountains <coughs> and the mountain. The mountain actually is not a mountain, it's just a, a pebble or a rock, but we make it so big that we are paralyzed by the problem. But with Jesus and the angel, it's nothing. Okay, and the next slide will show that uh, in all things we should rejoice. There should be a message in every situation that we are through going through. That we should trust in God even when we don't understand what's happening, what plans in our life. Like the next slide. Abraham, that's the father of our faith. He was called by God from his hometown or to the land of Canaan, land of promise, the promised land. He was old already, but God said that he'll be a father of, of multitudes, thousand stars. And he moved from Ur to Canaan, and he bore a son, Isaac, and he even was told to sacrifice Isaac, to kill him. But he, was, he had so strong faith that he knew that even if he killed his son, his only son, that he will be resurrected, will be back to life, being brought to life by God. But lo and behold, the angel stopped him from doing it. So he is our father, and through him we had worldwide blessings. The next slide. And the next slide. This is the New Testament. Jesus is our faith. So we should trust in him. Jesus, I trust in you. I think that's the end of my slide, and thank you for sharing and sharing this time with us. And, you know, we're open for discussion if anyone has questions. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that's what we do now. Our, our evangelization is virtual. We go to all around the world virtually. We have the Parias Para Cristo in South America. And we have, will have, right now, the Club of Christ of this <coughs> weekly conference virtually. And next month will be Parias Para Cristo, Hispanic version. So we can do this forever, basically. We have tons of teaching. Amen. Okay. Any comments, sharing? You have any problems that needs to be solved? We can ask Jesus. I, I have a prayer for faith. I can share a prayer that I pray every morning on faith. And it goes this way. It's Merciful me. Father, through Abraham and Mary, our father and mother in faith, and of St. Therese, our sister in the way of humble confidence, we choose this day 
with the help of your grace to, to consecrate ourselves to you today. Amen. <laughs> I forgot. Praise God. Uh, Hi, Dilma. You're late summer. Okay. I'm, I'm losing it. I have stage fright. <laughs> <laughs> a little voice cherry for prayer then we can go more social socialization if you want it karaoke whatever you want to do her closing prayer in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen, amen. lord thank you for this day that we could keep in touch with one another Though we're a thousand miles apart, because you have made it possible. Thank you, Lord, for a most beautiful friendship we have kept burning for the last five and a half decades. Thank you, Lord, that our Batch Magic 300 has always kept you in the center of our lives. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings, spiritual and temporal, that you have bestowed on us despite our shortcomings. Thank you, likewise. For the many trials that come our way, which draw us closer to you as we acknowledge our nothingness without you. Thank you, Lord, that even in our sunset years, we are striving to do our utmost best. And that some of our batchmates continue to pursue their dreams with so much passion, hope, and dedication. We humbly implore your unfathomable love, mercy, and compassion that we and our loved ones and the whole world as well be spared from the further scourge of this pandemic. Spare us likewise from any calamity, from any catastrophe, and from any malignant lingering or debilitating illness. Stay with us, Lord, and keep us constantly under your loving guidance and protection. And when the time comes for us to breathe our last, keep us in your tight embrace that we may not succumb to the last temptation. And as we travel by land, air, or sea, protect us, every part of our being and our vehicle. With every drop of your most precious blood, keep us from harm and from harming others. Lead us to our destination safely, swiftly, and peacefully here on earth and ultimately to our home in heaven. Glory and praise to your most holy name. May it be exalted, praised, and loved throughout the world, now and forever. Amen. All this we ask in the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, with the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And thank you, Mama Mary, for always interceding for us in all our supplications to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Vilma, good morning. And George, who just came in. Very popular day. I just finished rosary with my in-law from Mexico because it's the death anniversary of my mother-in-law. So. Uh oh, rest in peace. Okay. Sorry to miss the rest, but uh, I'm saying you had uh, as usual a prayerful spiritual uh, reunion. At cordiales, a tu esposo, sí. I just finished with. Donde está, donde está mi primo, se García. George, pasilipin mo naman si Tima, my cousin, another cousin, a Rodriguez side. Mamaya, nasa 14th mystery pa lang. Oh my goodness. Happy birthday to all the July celebrants. Asya, kanta na kayo. Happy birthday. Oh, I like that painting George made up. Leave it up your cat. Ako, kanina pa ako nakikinig. Ayan. Nakito ni Skia po eh. Dinos. 
Hello, Rose. Yes. Yes. Please answer my call when I call you. I have, I have oh. asked you something. Oh. Why? I'm not answering. Yes. I've been calling you. Oh. Really? I did well, not see. Maybe you are too busy. Yeah. <laughs> Rose, na kiklinik na, na kiklinik na. Okay. Okay. Once a week, okay. every Thursday. You. Every Thursday. Marami na ba na kiklinik? Well, marami na mina pero ang po konti pang patients. So by by appointment lang ako every Thursday from eleven to two. Oh. Yeah. Two. Eleven. Thank you, Chita, for the Thank question. you, and thank you, Chita. Yeah. Thank you, Chita. Yeah, officially, yeah. our formal Zoom. Thank you, Dante. Thank you, Dante. Yeah, thank you, Beta. Thank you, it's okay. Beta, what's your weight? Mo? Wala ko pa si Beta, nakapula kanina. Sorry, nakapula. Ah, nakapatlong change na yan, eh. <laughs> Beta, you, what time should you talk, Beta? What time is your lecture? Four. Four to six so, webinar. But last time. Beta is giving a lecture at Pogs this afternoon. Hey, okay. The Sultan here is Dante. <laughs> you have to register. He read my slides and he gave me some comments and so on. I hope I could uh, really give justice to the talk. You have amazing slides, Beta. Pwede ka nang mag-lecture sa psychiatry. Yeah. <laughs> Dito, once again, thank you for hosting. Uh. So, goodbye, guys. Okay. Have, nice to see all of you. When is our next meeting? Will it be a regular third Saturday of the month? Para meron tayong palaging, you know, yeah. na-anticipate natin na this will be the day. Yeah. Somebody will have to come up with a topic. Uh -huh. you every week teaching available din ako. There, there are Third Saturday. Sa August celebrants, there are there are 21 of you guys. Wow. 21 wow. celebrants. We haven't started the e-cards. Probably, probably we can ask one of the celebrants for August to, to give a short talk. Just like what Connie did. Uh, yeah, that's done. Uh, Andoy, alam mo ba, maraming sections sa post niya. Ano na, ano, Beta? Ano yung Beta? Oh, basat mo niya. You just choose one. Chito and or Tony can choose one. I will see. Or somebody can volunteer. Sana yung music. Sana Chito yung music video by all the celebrants. Kaya lang mahirap mag... It's very hard to convince people to sing. <laughs> it's worse than our collection for the souvenir book. <laughs> Thank you, Dante, for trying, really. <laughs> or we can... In, 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 in French. 
<laughs> we can we can request Andoy to do it monthly. Chito, I owe you one. Okay. I owe you one, guys. Sabi ko na idol eh, in French. Okay. Chito, Let's I have a suggestion. Yes. Why don't the others also record their happy birthday songs? So you can just keep adding to your file. So when there is uh, a month of birthdays, we can just play the 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 same set okay. with more people. Tagal ko pa magigintay. Mahirap magrek mag request. Di ba ni? Pagdating ng May, okay na yan. <laughs> you keep on submitting na. You keep on submitting your songs. Bibigyan kayo ni Chico no? Yeah, I, I edit it anyway. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll mahirap publish, talaga. Uh, Nakatake four nga ako eh. Pero nahiya ako na hindi mag-submit. Kaya kahit mahirap, sige lang. <laughs> I, I will I'll post the generic karaoke para pare-pareho. Yes. Hindi pwedeng kanya-kanya. So, Ang susunod by the end of the year, dapat ano? Punong-puno na yung screen. Puno na yung screen, oo. Oh. Voices, different voices. Okay, good to see you all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 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 Good morning. Bye. Yeah, good morning. Yeah. Andoy. 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 Late. Isabel Pohoy just, just came. Kanina, di ba? Okay. Si Tess ba? Tess Santos. Kanina, nandun siya. She was, didn't say anything. Kanyan po ba si Andoy? Lana. Lana. Sino gusto mo makita? <laughs> Hi, George! Nasaan si Tim? Nagdadosal pa. <laughs> Punta na, George. Punta na. Hindi niya alam. Ha? Huh? Di niya na mga len. <laughs> Kawabalik lang galing sa layas. Oh. <laughs> Sama si Aida. <laughs> <laughs>